Use a fun paper activity to help students learn about population fluctuation. We call this one, the lynx eats the hare. Start by taping off one square foot. Place three hares in the habitat and toss in the lynx. In order to survive and reproduce, the lynx must land on three hares. At this stage, it looks like odds of survival for the lynx are pretty slim. Remove any captured hairs and record the hare and lynx population at this point. Multiply the number of surviving hairs by two and add these to the habitat. Toss the lynx again. If the lynx captures three hairs, it survives and produces a single offspring. Continue this pattern for 25 generations and plot the population boom and bust. Will each group have identical graphs? If not, what happened? This is an excellent opportunity to discuss factors that affect populations in real life, such as immigration, disease, drought, and many more. If you have any questions, we're just a phone call away and happy to help.